viewers, subscribers, trucking up show is on the road. We're going to go get us a 30 ton front end loader and haul it to Carson City, I think. We'll be going through a new town on the MHA Pro Map Fallon and just buzzing down the highway here. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. Yeah, that's what we do. We get her done. We get her done. We don't mess around. This truck stops for nobody. And they don't wait on nobody. You got that right, Ralph? I had order to stop for a few though, Russ. Do you order to quit running over them? Well, I don't run over many, Ralph. Nah, one's too many there, Russ. Do one too many. Well, sometimes, Ralph, you just can't help it if they jump out in front of you. Now, most time they don't jump out in front of you, Russ. You just run them down. Oh, come on, Ralph. Give me a break today. Nah, you've been having it too easy, Russ. You've been having it too easy lately. I can't get up, Ralph. Yeah, he's getting on my nerves, too, though. No, it sure didn't take long. Folks, today we're going to talk about guns. Everybody want to take everybody's guns. Mm, well, yeah, Rusty, I don't know. It might be a good idea to take some of my Rusty. Have you lost your mind, Ralph? <laughs> you don't have to tell him to shut up now, Doug. Let's get her loaded here. We up in that. Um, Elko, I think. And going to haul down to Carson City through Fallon and all them little towns down along the way. Up oh, my graphics on my machine here and turn the thing or two off. And we'll see if that makes a difference or not. Turn them wide open on it. We'll see what happens. Mm, what the hell are you talking about, Rusty? Ah, you never mind, Ralph. You just sit over and behave yourself. I wanted you back your ass under this truck and hook up to it like you're supposed to. Quit pulling up and backing up, pulling up and backing up like some nut. Doing the best can, Ralph. Yeah, Ralph, he's doing the best he can. Nah, it ain't good enough. I'm gonna start driving. I'm gonna start driving any day now. You just wait and see. I'll let you someday, Ralph. I'll let you take charge of this thing someday. Nah, I sure hope you do, Rusty. I sure need some training there now. That little bit of training in the parking lot, though. To get them CDLs there, that that wasn't enough to put you on the road. That's just enough to get you get you driving around the parking lot there. I thought they took you out on the road for that test rail. Yeah, for about two miles there, Rusty, about two miles. Well, that's not too good. Nah, that's what I thought. I need to drive about about, about, about a thousand miles there, Rusty. Now nah, that's a long way around. No, all right, we're back on the road now. Now, now, talk about good. Nah, Rusty, you need to stay out of this, Rusty. I'm telling you, Rusty, you don't need to get in this. You need to keep your big mouth shut. Damn, Rusty, funny ass 
get my foot in your mouth. I'm not gonna stick no foot in my mouth. Your what? Yeah, you're afraid to talk. Nah, you are stay out of there, Rusty. Nope, I ain't gonna do it right. All these people on the news, people talking about, hey, they went down there and uh, that shooting down there in that bar, or whatever they call it, pub, bar, or whatever. The very minute every time every shooting, every shooting happens, they say, oh man, we gotta take the guns, we gotta run around the country and take all the guns, gotta get them all. Can't have these citizens running around here with guns. And um, I tell you what, they don't tell you everything. Well, they tell you, but you don't mind not listen. That fella was in that bar, her saloon bar, for over three hours. He was in there for three hours, texting his wife, calling people, taking pictures, shooting people over three hours. Now what does that tell you? Around here where I live, everybody's got guns. Everybody's had guns all my life. Nobody gets shot. Not on accident anyway. If I get shot, uh, the fellow was aiming at them. <laughs> but, uh, uh, you know, um, it's it's not it's not like the gun went off or they go shoot a hundred, but but uh, the way that happened, the way it happens is is if I call the police and I tell the police uh, somebody's shooting at my house and I don't have no gun, well the police will come to about a mile of your house. They'll park right there. And they'll get on the radio and they'll holler for more police. And when they holler for more police, they'll also holler for state police. And they won't move. They won't move from there. No matter how many shots is fired, they won't move from there until they get a whole bunch of police. Then they'll come help you. Take it, uh, if you go into a big store, any store, any movie theater, anything. If shots is fired, and they're police in the parking lot, he's not coming in there. Uh, I mean, they're not going to rush in. And uh, they're going to wait till they round up a gang. Then they're going to come and help you. Air, two airs, later. I don't know, that don't sound right rusty. Well, it's right, Ralph. I listen to scanners all the time. I listen to police scanner. I've had one for 30 years. Listen at it all the time. Anyway, if somebody had been working in that bar, like employee, owner, anybody, had a gun, they could have stopped that, maybe. If two or three people had a gun, uh, they had stopped it real fast. But no, they won't take everybody's, everybody's guns. Every country that's ever had the guns took away from them, turned into a dictatorship. Uh, so far. So all them people wanting everybody to take guns is I don't know, I don't know what they're thinking, but even people burning porch lights, uh, red porch lights on the news saying this is a gun-free home. Like I'm gonna turn the light on saying I live in a gun-free home. That's like saying, come on, crook. <laughs> but uh, I don't know, people, it's just crazy. It's crazy. If we turn in all our guns, the register guns we'd have to turn in. The crooks don't have to turn in no guns. They ain't registered. 
And if they did, they'd just go buy them some more. In the black market, they don't care what the law says. If the law says you can't have guns, you think they care what the law says? The honest people might care what the law says. They hear my guns. But they don't. Then what you gonna do when they come shooting holes in your wall? You gonna hump up in the corner and call the police and hope they go. Well, that ain't gonna happen to me. Not as long as I can keep a gun, it ain't. But uh, I know that a lot of people guess guns, but guns ain't nothing. My gun's laying here on the desk. It's a paperweight. I can pick it up and lay it down on a piece of paper it lays here every day. And it ain't, I've had it for, I've had guns for all my life. And I ain't never had one laying on the desk or hanging on the wall that, that went off on me. Never. Never had one. I could pick it up, move it around, throw it down here on top of a stack of papers. It ain't gonna go off. If you know how to use it, then it ain't gonna go off. And people, well, there ain't many, there ain't many honest people that that's got gun license or don't have gun license carry open. There ain't many honest people that go out here and hurt people. The people that go out here and hurt people, crazy people. And they need somebody to be able to stop them. And if you can't stop them, you're out of luck. If you want your life to depend on somebody to come and save you, you and your family and your little daughters and your granddaughters, if you want to sit around and wait on somebody to come save you, that's okay. But I don't want to do that. I don't want to be depending on waiting on some police come here and decide he's, he's safe where he can come up the hill to the house now. Yeah, they let that feller stay in that place for over three hours before they broke in. He called radio stations, news stations, called his wife, texted her, asked her if you watched the news. And they done everything three hours. Just think if they'd been in there in five minutes, what the difference might have been. Or ten. Or somebody had a gun. I don't know, fellas, it just don't seem right. Now you've heard my opinion on guns. I want more. I want guns. I want more. Nah, Rusty. Rusty, I don't know, Rusty. What you said sounded, sounded pretty right to me, but you know how, how the world is. I don't know if men have all these guns or not, Rusty. All right, Ralph, you sit there with the rest of them without your gun then. Nah, I ain't gonna do that, Rusty. I have a baseball bat or something. Well, I hope that baseball bat helps you, Ralph. <clears throat> and another thing, bullets. Back before they started all this, before, um, I guess before this president got in office, you could go anywhere you wanted, buy all the bullets you want. You could buy buckets full of bullets, buy them by the bucket, 500 in a box. And you could find them anywhere. And now you can't find bullets. And you can't hardly afford to buy them when you do find them. And that is a backdoor way of taking your guns. They're working on that too. You go to Walmart any day of the week and ask them for bullets. They sold out the very minute they come in, people are waiting to buy them. You might be able to get them to the gun shop, but they're going to cost you. And, and I know the manufacturer of bullets didn't stop making guns. I mean, didn't stop making bullets. So where'd the bullets go? Ask yourself that. Who's buying the bullets? Where'd they go? Because, um, they used to be bullets for every gun and every store, but you can't find them now. I heard that the Homeland Security and the military find them. That's a rumor. I don't know. So, um, 
But they're making them hard to get anyway, just put it that way. Alright, people, that's my, that's my thoughts on guns. The more the better. Alright, Rusty, you went and stuck your foot in your mouth. Now you're gonna be in big trouble, Rusty. Gonna be in big trouble now. Everybody think you want them gun toting nuts. <laughs> Ain't no gun toting fella, Ralph. I just don't wanna be. I just don't wanna be humped up in a corner waiting for somebody to shoot me, Ralph. Nah, I can't blame you for that, Rusty. Can't blame you for that. Yeah, Ralph. Everybody knows you like guns, you little weasel. Yeah, I get my love for the weasels a Yeah, you let yours off every now and then, but you, I think you just play around your gun too much. Yeah, I Alright fellas, we're in the new town of Fallon, made by MHA Pro Map. New roads, new towns, this is a new town in the map. It'll be released to the public soon. And I uh, thought I'd drive around the back way here and show you around a little bit. But I just thought I'd make this video. I get tired of hearing all them people. Ten people on the news sitting around the table talking about how they ought to take everything. And and all them fellas sitting there with bodyguards and and uh, everything else all around them. Even the news people who got bodyguards, security, and all that. And they talking about, hey, let's get them people to guns. Yeah, I don't think so. But that's my thoughts on it. So hope hope it didn't offend anybody. But that's just the way I am. No, we can't help the way we are. We were raised that way, Doug. Country boys. Yeah, old country boys. Seen a video today, Doug, what the captain made. Yeah. Yeah. He said you was never gonna be able to catch a wobbly. Well, I tell you what, the little boy's wrong. He might be wrong, but that's what he said. He said the duck can try and try, but he never catch a wobbly. Well, we don't hear about that. Well, if I tell you what, the little wobbly will die. You gonna double up and try harder? Yeah, I'm gonna try real hard. I'm gonna be a wobbly. But the gas is a wobble. I don't think you're supposed to catch them, put your head on the wall there, though. Well, I'm gonna be a wobbly. I'll talk to you while. Well, I'm gonna be a wobbly. 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 I'm gonna be Well, I got that bottle of shots up my head, watch it. Yeah, that's a nice looking lake, duh. Nah, it sure is. I'd love to have a big boat right out there in the middle of it, y'all. Might be able to find a wobbly out there. Wobbly captain, like thing. I don't think they get in the water. I think it might be better off catching him with one of those big rolls of baloney. You know how you buy the whole big roll? 
Just take that and throw that in a big garbage bag. And lay it down and wait for him to come in and give him some baloney. I think that'd be the, way, the best way to catch a wobbly captain, what do you think? Nah, I don't know. I don't know. Do they like baloney? Do they like baloney there, Rusty? I'd say they do. We'll have to, we'll have to check and see. <laughs> Yeah, we'll try it now. Tell you how smart six-year-old kids are, people. Taking my granddaughter riding my Jeep the other day. Six years old. And I didn't have to tie up her doors on it. Had two in the back and one in the front seat. Six-year-olds in the front seat buckled up. And she's riding. She looks over at me and says, uh, Hey, there ain't no way this is legal. I said, what are you talking about? She said, you got to wear seatbelts to ride in the car. There ain't no way it could be legal to ride down the road without a door, she said. In the top. That's pretty good thinking right there, ain't it, for a little kid. She just seeing out that door and she said, this can't be legal right here. This, this just ain't right, Papa. Those kids are something else when it comes to smarts. Yeah, they are. They're a lot smarter than that damn dog. Yeah, they probably are, dog. Probably smarter than me, too, some of them. They, they learning fast. Remember, people that live in America that's watching this, ask yourself, how come you can't find no bullets no more? Like I said, the manufacturer didn't quit making them. And they make as many as they ever made. Ask yourself why you can't find them. Are there some big secret going on there that you can't find them? Somebody's getting them. Somebody's buying them and stashing them somewhere. Right there's McDonald's, though. We'll go back over after we unload up. Maybe the truck ain't in the way. Maybe I tried to pull out when I should. Yeah, it does sound like me. Looks like we're gonna have to go for it.
Well, it don't look like it from here. I think you full of it, Doug. Got left to do, fellas, on hugger. Yeah, and go to McDonald's. So you worry about the hand dog. You're like me, it takes a lot of work to maintain a body like this, you know what? You can't you can't maintain a body like this eating crackers. Yeah, y'all need to maintain, get out there and jog like I do every day and, and run about three or four miles. Well, when did you do that, Ralph? I never saw it. Nah, I do it fast, Rosie. I do it fast. <laughs> you must do it fast. Hey, people, my vacation's over. I'm, I'm no longer king of the castle. I've lost my crown. My wife came back from the two week, uh, 13 days, 13 day vacation. She come back today and first thing she done when she come in said, give me my crown. <laughs> uh, so I'm no longer king of the castle, no longer boss. Uh, I'm just living here now. My knife started raining lit up again, all that crap. Jeez, what I wouldn't give, give to be king again. Hey, people, thanks for watching the Duck and Truck Show. Like a little bit here. If you liked it, click like. If you really liked it, subscribe. And drop a comment. Tell me what you think. If you think, uh, if you don't like guns, put it in there. If you like guns, put it in there. It don't matter to me. <coughs> Old rusty truck. <laughs> and the wild man, Ralph. I think I'll start the radio stage rubbing, Rusty. Be good morning, America. This is old Ralph. Hey, that sounds pretty good, Ralph. I thought it did, Rusty. Hello, America. <laughs> Bye, folks.